because I'm out here today and today I'm going to be doing a turtle trapping video. And well, if we catch a turtle, we may actually do a turtle catching cook. Um, well, I don't know yet, but you'll see by the title and that's what we're doing. So, um, well, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to have to do is cut a limb because I'm tying it to a limb to catch the turtle on. So, let's get started. Are there any words you'd like to say before we start this video? No? Wow, what a brilliant piece of information. Just kidding, guys. That was completely useless. Let's get going. Alright, guys. I got my freaking meat spear. Let's go jab it in the bank and catch a turtle. Alright, so ideally what you're looking for is just a place with a lot of fish because they eat fish. And it's got to be like kind of sandy, rocky. You probably won't do too good. I mean, you can. But you probably won't do too good in a rocky area. Alright. I've just got the stick here and I'm going to stab it right into the bank over there. That should hold it in pretty good. Now I'm just going to unravel this twine to the length I need. And you want it to kind of be like in the water, but you don't want it to be like on the bottom because you got to have some kind of room for the hook to set. It's about like that. And now I'm going to put it over in that hole, angle it that way, and let it set overnight. Alright guys, it's actually the day we're going to cook this turtle up. And well, I'm just going to go ahead and explain the first part of the video. And pretty much all that's been going on. But anyway, um, you saw the first part where I was sitting in the turtle traps. I actually showed you guys how to make them and all that, but I didn't put it on this video because, well, it was kind of pointless because I didn't catch none. That will be a video come up, don't worry. But anyway, what's going on is, okay, uh, you saw me set the turtle traps. And I've been checking it for probably a week. And I haven't caught anything at all. I mean, the bait's been gone every time. I've tried different hooks and everything, and I didn't catch nothing. So I'm thinking it's just a little fish that's been taking it. But anyway, that's besides the point. I went down there. You saw the past video, the Creek Chub Catching Cook. Well, the first time, like I said in the last video, the first time I tried to film it, I got down there, and there was a snapping turtle in the creek. So, well, I didn't really get to, you know, fish, but I did catch a snapping turtle. And... I didn't really show you guys me catching him either, but here's the video now of me seeing the snapping turtle. What's going on guys? I'm out here today and I'm down at the creek. And as you can see by the title, we're doing an unusual catching cook today. And uh, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna catch some kind of chub minnow. And then we're gonna take him up and we're gonna do a catching cook and see what they taste like. Cause I mean, I've never saw anyone that actually eats minnows. So I'm gonna try it out and see what they taste like. And actually, guys, there are a bunch of fish in this creek. Oh, turtle, snapping turtle, guys. There's a snapping turtle. Guys, I don't know if you saw that, but I was just filming an intro. And, well, I saw something moving down here in the water. I looked over, and it was a snapping turtle. So I've been come down here. I ran down here. He got completely soaked. I ain't got my foot hard on his back, guys. Don't worry. I'm just barely even holding him. But anyway, we're going to pick him up, put him in there, and we're going to go do a turtle catch. My bucket's getting away. I better catch it here in a second. But anyway, um, I've been film. I filmed an intro already to a uh, turtle catching cook, but I haven't caught nothing yet. So I just caught one. So you guys get to see a turtle catching cook now. But anyway, I'm gonna get him, get that bucket that's you know running away, and I'm gonna put him in it, and we're gonna cook him up. All right. Now that's me seeing the turtle, and now here's me showing you guys actually how to catch them because I didn't really show it in that part. But anyway, here's how you can catch a snapping turtle. I saw him in the creek, you know, trying to swim. And then I just kind of stepped on his back, said, Buh, you're not getting away. I'm going to eat you. And then I reached back here and grabbed his tail. But anyway, I just come up behind him like this, grab his tail, pull it up, and then reach my hand up under him and support him. Now I've got him right there, guys. And then I just put him in a bucket and brought him up here. But anyway, that's how you catch a turtle. I know I didn't show you guys much before on how to do it whenever I actually caught him, so I'll just show you now. That's how you catch a snapping turtle. Um, well, how do you pick one up anyway? And if you're like looking in a creek or something, they're pretty much in every pond that you can find. But if you're looking in a creek, you want something with a sandy bottom and a lot of fish. That's where you're gonna find them at. And that's where I found that one at. I'm gonna go ahead and set you guys up on the tripod and let's get to work. All right, guys, well, the first thing I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to kill the snapping turtle. So I'm going to go ahead and get him on this board, and I'm not going to show it, but I'm going to go ahead and kill him. The board set up, we got this titanium hatchet, extremely sharp. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and kill the turtle, and you won't see it, but he's going to be right in there. All right, guys, he's dead. I actually had to shoot him because he wouldn't stick his head out, which, I mean, I completely understand. But anyway, he's sitting right there. He, you can see he's still moving, but I promise he's dead. He's, he's missing his head. But anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and get to work. Now, I'm going to be completely honest. I've never even done this before. I've never ate a turtle, never killed a turtle, and I've never cooked a turtle. I have caught them before, though, so I guess that counts for something. But anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is take a fillet knife. The flimsier and the sharper the knife, the better. You don't want like a uh, dull or a very hard knife. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get that right now. Now, first thing I'm going to do is come in here and I'm going to cut all around the shell. He's still trying to claw me, guys. That's his nerves, though. He's, he's actually dead. And then you got to cut right in through here if you can. I'm just going to come all the way around this, cut around the shell, and get down in here as far as you can, and split the shell. Alright guys, we cut all around the shell, and now what I'm going to do is just run the knife up inside here, and you're just going to want to separate the shell from the rest of the turtle. Alright guys, I cut all around the shell, and now what you're going to want to do is come right up here and, well, I don't really know, but this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut from here up to here, and then I'm going to pull the leg out, just like this. I've got it pretty much separated from the shell. I'm not going to show you exactly, but it's separated from the shell. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right up here behind this bone. I'm just going to pull the meat out and I'm going to do that with the front and the back legs. And then we'll get the tenderloins and then we'll go ahead and cook them up. All right, guys, there's the first leg and well, it's just like a chicken leg. But anyway, I'm going to do that to the other three and then we'll get to cooking. And I actually was going to eat the neck meat, but well, I kind of got rid of that when I shot him. Completely skinned out. He's down there. Got him processed and everything. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this board right. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and take the turtle and pull him down here. Look at that. Okay. Anyway, I've got the shell here. You know, that's what's on top of the turtle. Anyway, there's a the front leg. I'm going to go ahead and get all the meat off of the legs. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it up. And then we'll get to cooking it. All right, guys. We got all the meat deboned. We're going to come over here. And now we're just going to wash it off. So I did get some more canned heat, so we're just going to use it like we have been. I'm going to flip my knife open there, cut her open, and get it set up. All right, I'll pop the top on this sucker, and then we're going to set it down and light it with a blowtorch, as always. There we go. Set this over here to put it out when we're done, and let's get the blowtorch. There we go. There we go. That's, you know, pretty easy, actually. Now I'm going to set this aside. Let's go ahead and get the pot on there. Let it get heating up. Oh, and I forgot to set everything out down there. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so we got everything set out. And now I'm going to go down there and I'm going to teleport right in here. I'm going to get the pot, bring it over here, and put some butter in it. Almost fell on that one. Anyway, we got the pot. Let's go ahead and bring it back over here. I ain't going to teleport this time because, well, it's just two steps. That was three, so i got to teleport for that one. Anyway, set this on here. It's already extremely hot. And get some butter because I'm out of oil. So that's actually not even real butter. So basically just oil. I'm going to go ahead and put that in there to deep fry it in. And, well, here we go. And there we go. And now we got this. And now we're... That's actually melting really fast. But anyway, we're going to come over here. And we're going to go ahead and mix up the flour and stuff we're going to use. Because I'm actually just going to go ahead and fry these like chicken. Anyway, I'm going to fry them like chicken. And... I'm going to put a little bit of cornmeal in this one. Let's go ahead and put some cornmeal. Some flour. There we go. Alright, for the seasonings, I'm going to use some onion powder. Some parsley. I actually just saw this in the cabinet and I figured why not. Paprika. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper. Now I'm just going to take this fork, mix it up there, and get it nice and ready. 
Guys, this is actually the secret recipe to KFC. I know because I'm from Kentucky. Okay, it might not be the recipe, but it's still pretty good. You gotta try it. All right, guys, and for the egg wash, I'm actually gonna be doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna put some hot sauce in there, and uh, well, I gotta go steal a chicken's egg because I don't ever bring them with me. But anyway, I'll be back when I get one. All right, guys, I got the egg, and well, it's okay. That's what I got chickens for anyway, and because they taste good. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and crack this open, and then I'm going to mix it up with some hot sauce, and we'll get to cooking. That was like the most horrible egg crack ever, but I got the egg out. All right, now I'm going to put some of this Texas Pete, you know, hot sauce, and I'm just going to put about the same amount as an egg. Now let's just go ahead and instantly mix it just like that. Whoa, that was quick. Anyway, now we got that mixed up. Let's go ahead and put the lid back on this before I spill it. But anyway, now we're going to go ahead and take the turtle meat and we're going to dip it in here. And I'm actually not going to use it all because, well, I'm not going to fry it all right now. And there's pretty good a lot of meat here actually from such a small turtle. We're just going to put a few little nuggets in there and that should be good when I have one more. But anyway, we're going to mix this up and then we're going to put it in there. Alright guys, there we go. And let's go ahead and drop it in there. We're going to go ahead and put them all in, mix them up, and then I might actually double coat some of them. I don't know yet. We'll find out when we get to that point. All right, there we go. Got them all in there. And now I'm just going to go ahead and mix it all up, get them nice and coated in flour. And then I'm actually going to dip them back into this stuff and then put them back into here and go ahead and double coat it. Get a nice thick layer of KFC batter on there. Guys, we got it double coated. We're going to go ahead and drop it in the butter and let her fry. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I just didn't bring it over here to the frying pan, but I don't really know. So, looks like chicken to be honest. Like, looks like a piece of fried chicken. I actually got a lot more meat than I figured, guys. I figured it was just going to be a little bit off the neck or something, but there's actually a pretty good lot of meat on a turtle. Anyway, we got all that done, and I'm just going to, you know, feed this to my chickens because, like, I do everything. There we go. Mix it up, and that's chicken food. There you go. They don't know what to think, guys. I mean, like, they don't even know what that is. Oh, yep, they like it. Okay, they, I guess, guys, they just eat anything, I swear. Chickens, they will eat anything you give them. I actually threw some more butter on the top to kind of coat it. And, well, I don't think it's heating up fast enough, so I'm going to put this other one under here, too. So, well, here we go. Here we go. Blow torch it up. There we go. Anyway, I'll be back to you when it's done. Guys, it is done. There's some fried turtle straight from the creek of Kentucky. But anyway, <clears throat> well, I'm going to set you guys up there on the tripod, and we're going to go ahead and take our first bite and see what we think. All right, guys. We got the turtle here and the fork. You can't forget the fork. But anyway, take a nice look at what it is. It's, you know, just a piece of fried turtle. What does it look like? It looks more like squirrel than chicken, really. I've heard people say it tastes like chicken, but we're about to find out, so. Mmm. It's pretty good, guys. Once you get over the fact that you're eating a reptile, it's pretty good. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of ketchup. Here's a piece with ketchup. Let's see what it tastes like. It's a little bit chewy, but it's really good. That is so surprising. It's a lot, it's not as chewy as I thought it would be because, well, it's a turtle, but it's actually really good. It's, uh, it don't taste like chicken, but, I mean, it, it kind of has a chicken taste, but it's not, like, exactly like chicken. It don't have a gamey taste at all, which is surprising. I figured it was going to be, like, really gamey chicken. Anyway, guys, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And, uh, well, I actually love doing catch and cooks because, well, I like to eat stuff. And, well, I'll see you guys later.